Yo, 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 welcome to the first episode of the Blank Canvas Show, man. I'm so excited to have y'all here, man. Um, it's been a nice little break I've taken. If this is my first time popping up in your algorithms, welcome to the show. If it's, you know, you looking at the algorithm and you're looking at, yo, why does this show pop up? It's because you probably were a subscriber to the Don't Sleep on the Couch podcast. And let me tell you, man. Had to end that run, man. Um, it was a long, successful run. Shout out to all my co-hosts along the way on that podcast. Shout out to all the guests. Uh, shout out to everybody, uh, mainly because I want to thank y'all for the experience of uh, getting involved in podcasting and everything like that. But had to take a brief break. Had a lot of things happening in life. I recently retired from the Air Force after 22 years, three months and three days. So I had that going on. A lot of personal family things, nothing crazy, but just had to put um, had to put life in its proper context in terms of my priorities. So with that said, you know, behind the scenes, I've been paying attention to things, uh, thinking over strategies and things that I did wrong in the first four and a half years because nothing is perfect. Um, sticking to one thing and you know, kind of trying to get my music thing off off the ground in terms of just putting out more projects. By the way, I put out two projects this year. One is called Blank Canvas by Cash Flow. The other one is called Decorating Time. And I have a few features out there, but I want you to go check out those two projects because I do music as well. The name of the label is Blank Canvas Music, hence Blank Canvas Show. So I wanted to incorporate everything that I'm doing and more so something that means... Um, that's more so in, in pocket with what I'm doing now and for the foreseeable future. Uh, Don't Sleep on the Couch no longer served that, and it served what it needed to serve for that time, but I had to take a step back and be like, all right, is this name making sense with what I'm doing now and the transition I'm making, you know, to making music uh, as, as part of my day-to-day -day life? And it didn't. So at that point, I had to dissolve a few things, get a few things in order, and now we're here with the Blank Canvas show that's more so of what I'm on right now and what I will be on for the foreseeable future. So this episode right now is going to be more so like a, you know, a little bit of a, a mission statement type of thing and just letting you, you all know what you can expect from this show and what I'll be doing on this show, who I'll have on this show, some of the conversations we're going to have. So let me first start with Blank Canvas. Blank Canvas to me is self-explanatory, but for you, Every day, artists, creatives, we all have a chance to to change course on what we want to do, how we want to present ourselves, uh, the things that we're, we're necessarily not doing well or that we know we're lacking, we need to improve on. Every, every day is a blank canvas to start drawing and to start figuring things out. You know, I'm, a, I'm heavy on that, even from my prior life and what I do and how I approach life. Every day is just a different day, man. Some days, you know, your tank is on knee and you do what you can. You know what I mean? So, you know, for all you creators out there, all you music uh, folks out there, that's what Blank Canvas is about. We're going to have conversations. I'm going to approach music. I always appro approach music with fresh ears. Um, I like to, <laughs> one of the sayings I've been saying a lot to my friends lately or people that have come to know me along the way is, you know, uh, I want my my critique or my, my thoughts on anything to be accurate. So I do listen to albums in full, even if they don't catch me, you know what I mean? So those are some of the things that we'll be doing, album reviews. This ain't going to be the album review show. It's going to be albums that matter, but conversations around albums and things like that. So you won't get in like a line by line breakdown or none of that stuff like that. Um, I'll leave that for my artist interviews, which I still will be doing independent artist interviews and whoever else comes along on the show and wants to rock with the show. And we're going to keep it a thousand on here. You know what I mean? At all times. That's one of the things that I feel like in my previous podcast, like we we did it, but we could we could do a lot better with with keeping it a buck about the music and, and holding artists accountable to independent artists and, you know, mainstream artists. You know what I mean? With all due respect, you know what I mean? Because I know what it takes to put out a successful album. I know what it takes to produce. I know what it takes behind the scenes and all the things that it takes. So I don't want to just come out and blast albums and stuff like that. So that's kind of what we're going to do. Artist interviews still with independent artists, and I'll kind of get with 
I guess I got a long little diatribe about that as far as um, artists that want to be on the show here in the future. So that's a little bit about uh, Blank Canvas. Like I said, music is life for me. I eat, sleep, shit, music. Uh, all the time I have music playing, all the time I'm looking on blogs about music. Whatever it is, music conversation, you have me at hello. So, you know, uh, that's kind of what it's about, man. And I, I love to give artists a chance. That's my thing. I love to give artists a chance so that we can talk about the music. And, you know, if you drop two albums that I don't necessarily like or you drop projects that I don't like, then, you know, I'll give you a, I'll give you more than enough chances to to kind of just rid myself of your music altogether. But I like to give people options because, you know, you never know where an artist's head is and where they where they're going. Creativity, you know, creativity. I can't even get that word out, but you know what I fucking mean. Anyway, so. That's kind of the thing, man. Like, I, I just want to give everybody a platform and I want to talk about things in a holistic way. And that's kind of what the artists will be doing that come on. They will be invited into my world, you know what I mean? And checking me, checking, they'll be invited into my world, right? And then we'll kind of go into the things that are current. We'll talk to them about things, their feelings on things. We'll get that type of stuff out of them um, so that you get to know them because I know that, you know, interviewing independent artists is a kind of a daunting task who who is this person why should i be listening uh why are you bringing them to my attention and that's really more so to my taste in music you know what i mean if you rock with my taste in music then you're going to tap in for the little 15 to 20 minute segment where we're talking about their music and then hopefully you tap into the full episodes as we talk about whatever is going on that week in rap and or r&b so we're i'm trying to tackle all type of um genres but again, mainly it's going to be rap and R&B music, but I'm not opposed to anything else. Trust me, because I'm, I just like to open myself up for those type of conversations because I never know what type of nuggets I'm going to get from anybody that does jazz, rock, what have you. So it's not going to be limited to just rap and R&B. So I'll put that out there. So that's a little bit about Blank Canvas, uh, kind of the mission that I'm on in terms of uh, – you know, just giving you guys good content. So as far as the uh, the independent artists go, really what I want to do with that is um, I have three different ways that you guys can contact me. It could either be by DM would be the initial way because that's what I check more often. I'm on Twitter, Instagram, at underscore BK show on both of those platforms. Also, you know, I'm on YouTube as well, so you can leave a message in the comments. It, it doesn't matter. But primarily what I want you to do is contact me at bcanvasmusicgroup at gmail.com. That's where you will provide to me at least five songs. That's all I want. Not at least. All I want is five songs, um, and, and that that's it. Then we could kind of go from there. Your press kits and everything else that you that you have. If you don't have a press kit, that's fine. Give me your social media. I'll review your social media. Go through all of those things so I can kind of get a sense of you. Uh, once I listen to the music, if I feel like it's time to do an interview and you kind of go in line with the schedule, then that's cool. If you have something coming up in the near future and you want the the review or the album to take place, the the independent, not the independent, but the the actual uh, interview rather to happen, then artists plan ahead. Get with me ahead of schedule. Give me the music ahead of schedule. Trust me, it would be just be between you and I. I will have a chance to listen to the to the album and or EP that you're providing that you want to promote. And this is specifically for all artists, but specifically if we don't have a relationship at all, and I don't know you from nowhere and you making music, then please give me the grace to research you, to do what I need to do so that I can provide something that's worth your while to add to your press kit, to add to um, people getting to know you because you don't want a stale interview, right? So give me grace and I'll give you grace and do the due diligence if the music is good. So if the music is good, I'm not going to like everything. I don't. I, sim I simply don't. If it doesn't grab, if I don't gravitate to it, then I will tell you, hey, this maybe this isn't my thing. You know what I mean? But I'm an objective listener, and like I said, I listen to everything. There will be times where I toss that to the side. There's times in the past 
on the previous podcast, Don't Sleep on the Couch podcast, where I did that. You know, we we tossed that to the side and we simply said, let's bring this person on because they have a certain type of thing about them to where maybe other people may put them on. But if the music is just bad and I, I don't enjoy it and 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 I won't it won't bring bring no value to the show, I, I just won't bring you on point blank period. Um and, and that that'll be it. And I will make no I won't mince words in saying so. Um, because time is too short. My time is money. I'm busy. This isn't my my primary <laughs> means of, of making money. So I don't have the time to do my due diligence on every single artist I bring. And, and trust me, I do my due diligence to give you guys a great interview because who knows who's going to see it and who knows who's going to want to come on as a result. So that's why I take my time to do the research. So again, if it's not good, you won't be on, and I hope you guys respect that. Um, so, with that said, like I said, again, Blank Canvas Music Group at gmail.com. It will be in the show notes where you can contact, again, at BK Show on, at underscore BK Show, Twitter, Instagram, shoot a DM. I'll respond to it, you know, shoot me, a, you know, follow and all that good stuff, and then we'll kind of get going with that. Uh, so for the next step, one of the things that I wish I did, and again, this is a learning thing, right? So we, we're going to keep in the blank canvas thing. Independent artists uh, and, and artists in general, managers, whoever you may be, if you do reach out, just know that I want this show to be successful and I also want it to be worth your while as far as the interview. What do I mean by that? Artists, I can't want more success for you than you want for yourself. So just think of this as another medium to get your your word out there, get your personality out there, get your music out there, get whatever you're you're pushing out there. But you got to help me help you. We got to promote the show together. I'm going to promote it. I'm going to send a bunch of clips. I'm going to do all that. We got to share the clips together. We got to do all these different type of things to promote the episode, you know what I mean? Because it's about you. I don't care who you think you are, where you think you are. When you don't do that, trust and believe you won't be coming on again. Because like I said, I view it as a joint partnership. If Especially, especially if you ask me to be on the show and we have no relationship whatsoever. I think right is right and wrong is wrong. Um, in the past, we, I've had quite a few artists come on here and have never shared the show. You know what I mean? Whether you, you know, at least one run on your social media. I can't tell you what to do on your social media or nothing like that, but I would think it would be to both of our advantage if we do that. You know, I come with a certain amount of people. I don't have a whole lot of followers and all that right now, but we going to get there. We damn sure going to get there. So treat me as if I, if I was whatever big podcast, big show or whatever, and I'm going to treat you the same. I don't care who you are. I'm going to treat you the same way, whether you one of the biggest interviews and you got thousands of uh, followers and eyeballs on your shit and you got some real motion and, and stuff is going on in your social media. I'm going, I'm going to treat you the same way. So all I ask is you treat me with the same way. Cause I'm going to do my research. I'm going to give you a great interview and I, that I can assure you. So, do the same for me, artists. Promote it to your audience, and you never know. Things may spark from there. You know what I mean? As far as just other things going on with other artists that you may rock with. You know, relationships happen that way, artists. So just want to be clear on that. I don't, I don't, you know, this will always be something I'll probably send out here in the future, and this is probably long overdue. So that's just a little bit about, um, what I want to do in a relationship that I want to establish uh, with the artist. And again, you guys will be getting this if we do engage in an interview, whether you're a reoccurring guest that you've been on on a previous podcast or you're coming on now, definitely going to have that conversation with you guys and we'll rock out from there. So uh, I want to support you guys. I want to see you guys win. Uh, it doesn't, you don't have to work with me outside of this. This this right here is where I want to see you guys win. And I think conversations and, and nuanced conversations are, are great because everything's all cool with a quick caption and stuff like that on, on Twitter or Instagram and stuff like that. Or you, you you provide a comment, things get taken out of context. But, you know, I will, even things get taken out of context on videos because people who don't have lo long attention spans. But what I'm saying is this is this is what I like to do. I don't I don't like to be. 
um, the the quick comment, the quick witty person. I like to have human interactions. Like, yeah, I'm that old dude that likes to have human interactions. So with that said, that's what we're going to do moving forward. This first episode is more informational. Just want to let you guys know what I'm about, what I plan to do with this podcast, music, little bit of sports, little bit of sports, uh, because I'm going to have to get my fandom off some way, uh, shape or another. Uh, Like I said, covering independent artists and just keeping up with the current times and and relevant conversations uh, within music, engineers, producers, corners, uh, production cypher. I got like a segment on that. We got a I got a whole lot of cool things coming up, a whole lot of convos, best duos ever to do like all all of that. Those those cool nuanced conversations and rap and R and B and stuff like that. I'm looking forward to having different panels and people to come on, and I'm looking forward to all the relationships I'm going to forge as a result of this show. Can't wait to get started. Every Tuesday, you can expect this podcast to be in wherever you listen to podcasts. Um, you can also expect it to be shortly up after with video, if not the same day, the very next day. And then on Saturdays, I'm going to reserve for just a free for all. Saturdays will be a free for all. Whatever happened, new music drops on Friday. Just giving you my initial thoughts or what to check out for the independent scene. So even it's going to be times when I don't get to get certain artists on, but I may check out their music and I'll be promoting that to you. So that'll be more of a just kind of just kick back, lay back. You know, we may be listening to their music for the independent artists that allow me to play their music and we may just rock out. And, and do something like that live album listening sessions it's a whole host of things that we could be doing artist interviews on saturdays so i'm gonna dedicate two times a week to doing that for you guys with audio and video make sure y'all subscribe make sure y'all do uh all that stuff follow the show on wherever you listen to podcasts if that's something that you do so i'm gonna provide it on both mediums so yeah holla at me this is blank canvas show i'm cash flow follow me as well on my personal instagram and twitter at cash underscore flow eight three and i'm excited i'm excited beyond excited to get this thing this ball rolling man i've been itching to get back into you know uh doing this show and and getting the word out there for artists that deserve to get their word uh and their music heard rather so i'll holla at y'all peace Found my passion again, one with the pen Made my way back home, careers don't actually blend Built myself from the ground up, sacrificed my peak years Did it for the love, but love from y'all is quite weird No shit would be crazy, open arms and fanfare All I got are the promises and blank stares